project is about proper waste disposal program for children. So I entitled it Educating Children, the Next Generation for a Better Nation. Okay, so for introduction, the situation of the community where I will implement my project is that the disposal of garbage are everywhere, which means garbage are everywhere. Garbage here, garbage there, garbage everywhere. So the problem is that there will be an unpleasant environment that may cause uh, may cause disease from uh, disease for the community living there. So for the preparatory stage, the action plan phase one, my uh, my community partners will be the LGU, the barangay officials, the that the Samramain officials, and the Department of Education officials. So uh, I have a connection with the, the Samramain officials because um, one of my, uh, the vice mayor there is my cousin, and the Department of Education, the Education Program supervisor. No, 
They can, but just be careful of the... Well, you wear gloves, right? That's not enough. Like, you wear gloves and then the things are still full of living things. Well, let's get a straight picture of what you in my project. First is organization. 
Association of Student Government to make my to make my project sustainability sustainable. I have to I have to come with the all high school student government because this project is I want to be of the youth. I want to work with the youth together the student government of all high school students and for an organization as well. Next is the to have a contest, contest of all high schools of making a recycled color trash bin. I have four, four trash bins. Red is for the paper, blue is for the um, landfill, black is for the trash like metal and plastic bottles, and lastly, um, lastly, biodegradable for the for many projects that will come soon. And then, after I have I will those recycled dollar trash bins. It is a one month project that is great on June to July 2013. It will be the first project that the school will implement. Then. And then this incentive is that first because of the little time I have, I have to work first with my community which is the Saver High School. So the incentive is plus one on card because it have been a, and it have been our, our traditional so that it would be more fun and then and the students would be much more going in the project. And next to top is a recycled trash bin. I have to separate it and give it to the rural areas or spotter areas. And that recycled trash bin, for example, plastic bottles, since I work with an organization that is composed of student government of all high school students, then those organizations have another branch that is called club organization. I want to talk about club, art club because that recycled trash bins can make into a new handicrafts. For example, Independence Day. We can make an Independence Day handicrafts just for using recycled trash. And also the dry paper. The dry paper can be used as another form of paper. With the with a, since I will put it in the rural areas, the rural areas need money. So those dry paper that I will be collected in the recycled trash bin, I will give those as a project to the rural areas, and then I will seminar them how to how to make a new paper out of it. And those one that they need, I will I will sell them to all the people in Kagan, the RCT, in order for them to gain money because they don't have education, they will just drop out of grade 6. So that's the way of helping them. And um, environmental awareness of youth and environmental awareness to barangay. My goal is to lessen the garbages of the landfill. Um, that's why I have many handicrafts outputs, uh, handicrafts projects, so that less garbages will be geared to landfill.
shred. So when this paper is shred, it can make to another new thing, like a new paper, handicraft paper. Mm -hmm. okay. What's the difference between your uh, recycled color trash bin from the oil barrel trash bin? Um, the recycled color trash bins is just made out of recycled materials. One of my uh, since to make it more durable, I have an I have a calendar that is full of inspection. Um, there's an inspection where I have to go to a certain school where I have the contest and see if it is durable enough and give them more guidance. Since it was it is a project that is made for the bin is just made for two years, so I have to make sure that it is enough. And then um, we have tried this one already because. Um, for example, electric fan, 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 electric fan, and the, the oh, you know the the front, the front door of it there. So we use it as a cover of our trash bin. We just put us uh, a string, um, a lamp, what's the and then so that they can be open and closed. It is so so very good in our, uh, very good because all the all the plastic bottles is that especially because we are students we love to drink a lot of drinking bottles so we put we pile it up one line in here one line in here and then we'll make a big square of garbage can and then we'll just add some um hardwood in here and we um when we made this project we only uh we only expect, uh, spend 100 pesos just to make a large trash bin and it's all made of recyclable materials it's a continuing project. It's yes. proven. It is proven. Because we have been using also that trash bin in our school and it's still alive. So we want to learn more about that bin, what makes that bin, because we are doing three hours. Um, as for the continuous life and demonstrate. Share that. Okay. And I, have the, I raise a question to many students who are donating trash bin because they cost a lot of money, they will be stolen. How would you solve the problem? Because they will sell them for a kilo, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So how would you solve the problem of stealing the trash bin? Mm -hmm. okay, think about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hindi siya ma-upload, hindi na maka-upload. Yeah. 
my project is based on the community needs as a community needs assessment that I had arranged with the Barangay Kagawan of the community where I had a Barangay Kagawan, Rosalina Delia. So first action is um, the strong information that I have about, um, about the proper sanitation where it, it's a lecture and it's a seminar to the citizens who are in the citizens in the Barangay Delia where in this community, um, the population is being rising and Barangay Kagawa told me to um, have this as a reminder for them that as the population ar arises, um, the, the sanitation um, decreases into a manner that um, uh, the state of being a poor is there. So the next one is the tree, tree planting and tree growing. Uh, regarding the tree planting, um, the output is slightly 100 number of seedlings. So this 100 number of seedlings will um, will be donated by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. And I have a connection in this um, um, this motion. Um, it has been um, it is uh, supported by me. Um, the Junior Volunteer Circle, the head of the Junior Volunteer Circle, is supporting me to have this 100 seedlings in the community. And the third option is the clean up drive. Actually, this clean up drive is just a side activity because the value for tree planting is, um, has a, let me say, um, 30 meters distance to the community where we're in in beach, so the tree planting will be at the, the beach. So, uh, so upon arriving to the venue of the tree planting, um, also the lab is being um, um, acted. So my partners will be the Davao City Federation of Supreme Student Government Incorporated, <coughs> the Junior Volunteers Circle, the General Leadership our is the Barangay community and so